Hi there, welcome back. This is the one I can, and we've just killed Pura Cow, the dragon. On this insane uh, run. Blind we are, <laughs> so to say. Though we don't know what we're doing, really. And uh, so it's on the highest difficulty. So let's see. What has Pura Cow? This thing, the ring of the solitary wanderer. We find here. Granting lone wolf. Minus 35% hostile effect duration. Wow. While there are no allies nearby, become exceptionally resistant to hostile effects. Oh, that could be good for... Hmm. For whom? I don't know. Well, it gives it one result. And uh, also, this ring was the prized possession of Mikhail Malloy, an old and bleak walker. That's a paladin kind of... Of the eastern reach he was a solitary man and preferred to work alone whenever possible his compatriots rarely objected <laughs> few of them could stomach malloy's presence for any prolonged period to anyone present he was a crude cruel and generally unlikable soul even by the brutal standards of the bleak walkers malloy spoke at length of the countless foes he had bested great beasts felled and those he had crushed under his boot he was to be believed, the gods themselves trembled at his name. While few, if any, believed his rambling tales, none could deny that Orlan was a hardy bastard and had survived on his own through many lesser conflicts. After retiring, Malloy settled in the Durwood and lived a quiet, comfortable life. His many rivals and enemies, however, had not forgotten him. A few brief weeks into retirement, his body was discovered in his washroom. His neighbors, hardly surprised, testified to the bailiff that Malloy must have accidentally cut off his own head while shaving. Nothing had been stolen, save for his ring, this ring. The solitary wanderer is what we get. And a token of faith, giving also resolve. And that seems to be all. Some onyx, some scales, some bones, a medium shield, and a Xoric champion spear. Very impressive. Five accuracy. There we go. What else is there? Is there some kind of horde? I mean, we've just slayed a dragon, right? Or at least a drake. So is there something? No. <laughs> we should uh, have a look around, just in case there's a, a buried chest or something. We also want to map the archipelago as there is a nice quest for that too. Explore the uncharted islands around Port Maje. The two uncharted islands to the north and south of Port Maje. We should explore. Yeah, let's do that as well before we leave this place. this lead us? Where will this lead us? So north and let's see. To the north and south of Port Maje. Here's Port Maje. Yeah, we just have to explore everything, right? There's something here. We still can visit that thing, so we want to visit there, whatever that is. Oh, we can find water there. <laughs> That's good. Some sweet water. Let's go back to our ship. Our morale is a little bit meh. And look at that. Oh yeah, we are definitely in another region here. So we should probably go back, sail back a little bit. And uh, that thing would be interesting, right? What's that? You're sailing past the reef when Shield Sister Dahlia shouts out, pointing to port. 
There, list the ship stranded in the middle, perched on a narrow shoal. It tips and rolls with the passing waves. Hanging from its mast is a blue flag showing an image of a crescent moon sinking beneath the waves. Your crew gathers around, murmuring in low, excited voices. Oshizu rushes to the railing. Captain, that's a gift-bearer ship. No telling what sorts of treasures it's got. A cute snorts. Gift-bearers carry sentimental junk. Worthless stuff. No, that's a smuggler's ship. It's a classic disguise. Tulyak Longfrost, our boreal dwarf, spits into the water. And it's a fucking stupid one. Gift bearers only visit landlocked settlements. That's a trap. Hmm. Well, uh, thoughts? Choose a party member. Hmm. Who should think about that? Christine is very intelligent. With a shake of the head, Gerstein Rudas Walker frowns and says nothing. And Kelvasa. Okay. We'll use the spyglass. Ah, oh, we don't have a spyglass, okay. Uh, what was that above the gift bearers, Ikyuk? Yuk fixes a pensive frown on the wreck. No offense, Captain, but the servants of Ondra collect things people want to forget and consign them to the sea. Anything gift bear bearers might be carrying would be stuff nobody wants. Well, uh, prepare a skiff. Uh, we'll have to row out and climb the hull. You row with a skiff above, above the reefs, the waves tossing at the bottom of the small boat, occasionally scraping across the jagged structure below. You tie off on a snag of coral next to the wreck. The water is rough and the hull slick with brine, but you are able to find perches between the shifting planks. Climb up. You pull yourself up, using bent planks and the barnacles for holds. You've almost reached the main deck when a wave slams against the ship. You hear a crash from somewhere below. As the vessel rocks, your legs slip out from under you and your fingers dig into wet lumber. Your grip holds. As the ship settles, you resume your climb and make it to the safety of the deck. The ship is deserted. You don't even find corpses if the ship had a skiff. It's missing too. We'll search for salvage. We found several crates of supplies and several more of assorted odds and ends. Handkerchiefs, bead jewelry, cracked scrimshaw, a child's doll. And ammunition. <laughs> you think back to Ikyuk's comments and wonder if this might have been a smuggler's vessel after all. Let's we'll search for evidence of smugglers. Um... Yeah, kebab. You slide a crate of junk aside and find a trapdoor underneath. With within rests a small chest brimming with golden skellings. Nice. Aha. Among the coins rests a small figuring of an imp of all things. A laughing imp cameo. Oh, we can summon two imps. That's just great. You load your find onto the skiff and row back to your ship. Very, very good. Very good. It's really nice. Let's see. I, f I think we've been here already. How about that island? Have we been on that? Well weathered. Cormio. Maybe they'll go away. Some daily wages. That's a morale replenish. Maybe only if we are on land, right? So we might look around. The well weathered Cormio. We don't want to meet the well weathered Cormio. What's that? Fort Deadlight. Oh, we have to visit there as well. North and south. Port Maje Harbor. We should visit there. To Aboko, I think. Let's see. Was he here? Can't we? Hmm. 
I'm not sure. Was it was it here? Let's go to Port Magic Harbor for now. Revisit everything. Maybe get a get a little get a little extra here and there now that we know that we have a ship. We can uh, maybe steal something from Governor Tropico or Clario, how he calls himself. Already What's in there? Nothing. All right. The Kraken's Eye. Red Sarens, Adherence, the Dear Wooden. What next? A giant right out of living lands? So, uh, there. Anything new? I think you'd come back here. Don't tell me you wrecked your ship again. Use your crooked smile before turning back to the glass he's wiping clean. Hmm. Let me see what you have. No. Crew's getting antsy. Maybe we cut them loose. We're not leaving any time soon. Let's have a look around. Don't remember where exactly Aboko was. I think he was here, but I could be wrong. Well, it's easy to check and quick too. That's where we send away this old guy, Norgund. Hey there. Welcome back. You are in need. Are you looking for something in particular? What do you have for sale, man? Okay, nothing special. What's in here? He'll see everything. Oh. He leaves the room. Dead eye, cinder bomb, there we go. <laughs> convenient! How convenient. Well, let's leave to the harbor, shall we? So, how do you like it? <laughs> Couple of commoners taking uh, stuff. <laughs> Yeah, the Durwooden captain again. These people. Rinko, the governor, Port Magic Jail, market, trading post. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The captain Damo. Cyclopedia. Um, do we have some kind of summary where we find people? A boku at the wild mare in Queen's birth. Okay. Yeah. Then we we don't. Yeah. Then we'll just visit. Clario to see what we can uh, acquire. <laughs> there should be enough to acquire there, right? We haven't acquired much yet. Oh look, there's something in here. There's also something. Be right there. Okay, Lassa.
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, that won't work. What's in there anyways? Nothing important. Nothing that important. Oh. Wow! Clario Louisa. That's hard here. Ooh, that guy moves away. No, he moves in again. Hey there. Doing nothing. Maybe now. Let's try. Go, 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 go. Uh. <laughs> try that again. really not good not good at all go away go away go away go away go away nah <laughs> it doesn't work it doesn't work at all i'm sorry what's going on here it's finished well We've got this stuff here. I got this. And that's at least something. This painting of a wooded glade is signed Louisa Clap. <sighs> ah, we didn't want to pickpocket. Good to see you are well. Okay, okay. Well, we've got some stuff, at least. Some good income. Now I guess let's leave and we'll go back. Fresh fish! Let's get off this rock! Race you to the coral. No contest. What? Just because you have webbed fingers and... Uh, we shall leave the town by sea. On foot by sea. Why cannot we... I think we have enough. <laughs> I mean, we are at the docks, right? Ah, here. Here we go. Now we can leave the town by sea. Three minutes. Very nice. I wonder what we have to do now. Let's go south, I guess. And uh, look around there as well. Our crew is in terrible, terrible moods. Uh, the wave skipper. Because it, we could visit that island. Let's see, but we have to be careful. Get in here. Got some ale. Now let's go away here. Ngati Island. Mm. Islands. Ooh, imposter's lament. But that's too far. I 
So there would be sea shanties. Oh, she's leaving too. All right, I think um, we're going back. Back to Nikitaka. It's going to be interesting. Let's see. There was a big island. I have the broken spare pass and the ruined tower. I'm not sure what this is. Ooh, the beggar Winfruth. Hmm. I think we'll have to take the other way round. Then let's go this way. before our morale runs out. That's a merchant. The Wakahara Reef. Wow, the cavern of Xaur Tuk Tuk. That's a great island. We have to visit there someday. Back to Nikitaka. There should be more sea shanties. There should be some kind of player where I can activate constant sea shanties. A valiant trading company, the Alizio. Hmm. We don't want to meet them and they don't want to meet us, which is uh, perfectly fine for us. Let's get back to Nikitaka. In Queen's birth, I think we had, yeah, the wild mare. There is a boko. And there's no music. Why is there no music? <laughs> Give me the music. Nice. I can hear a bit of music. Abako raises his tankard and wings. Here's your thirsty drake. That such a magnificent creature could also be a water hoarding pest. Dragons are a complicated bunch. He lifts the head and looks deeply into its eyes before passing you payment. Wow, a lot of copper. Sima, my friend. You will let me know if you are interested in more work, huh? Yes, what new bounties do you have? called Nomu broke free of custody along with the rest of his plunder buddies. It is said they wasted no time getting up to their old tricks. Prison is too kind for a pirate. So there is a bounty on Nomu's head. He and his ilk fled to the wilderness north of Nekitaka. All right, I'll return with his head. Farewell. And look at that. We'll do that in the next episode. A lot of level ups. Have a great time until then. And happy gaming.